Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become a certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. And now we're going to look at other types of the rule surface. So we have the same parts as before. And let's go to surface step and root surface here. So now let's go to normal to surface like this. So we have the all options the same distance and edge selections. So we can go here and let's choose this edge here. And now as you see, we have this result. This new surface is normal. It's perpendicular to this existing surface here. Here we have an option then we can go reverse direction. So we can go to this direction, like this. And we can change the distance as well. Now let's clear this. Let's go to this one. Let's choose this edge. So now, as we see, we don't see the preview because we have turned on to reverse direction. Let's uncheck this. And now we see the result like this. We can also go here alternate phase and now we got the same result as with the tangent to surface because this edge belongs to two surfaces, two faces, this one and this one. So we got the same result as we used tangent surface. Let's clear this. We can also choose this edge, this edge, this edge. So we can choose as many edges as we want and combine them like this. And now we can manually change the direction of each edge separately like this, as we show in the previous lecture. And this is how the normal to surface works. It's pretty simple. Let's clear this. And let's go taper it to vector this one. So first we have to select our edge. Let's select this edge, this one. And now here, we have some other options. We have distance, but also we have to choose reference vector. And here we have an angle. So let's click here. Let's choose, for example, this face. And now what is happening here? Now we see, now if we go to this position, now we see that our surface goes to the direction that is perpendicular to this face, as we see this arrow here but also at some angle, we have five degrees here. So we can increase and now we can see the changes in the shape of the surface, like this. We can change direction here, so we can go to this direction, like this. Let's clear here, now let's go to this edge here right click and go select tangency and now we have this option as you see we can go with reverse direction and now we have this like this we can also increase the angle and now we can see the changes so this vector is perpendicular it's normal to this phase that we choose we can change this phase for example let's delete let's click here and delete we can choose for the reference vector this face and now we got this result now our vector is perpendicular to this face let's go with angle 5 degrees now we have even worse let's go for example with 60 degrees and now we got something like this we can go reverse direction and now we have this So this is how works taper it to vector. Let's clear this selection and let's go perpendicular to vector. Let's clear here. So now let's go here to edge selection and let's choose this edge here. And now let's choose here reference vector and let's choose this face like this. Let's increase our distance and now we see that the, our direction is perpendicular to this phase that we have choosed. We can go here, reverse direction, now we have something like this. 
So our direction vector is perpendicular to this phase that we have choose. We can also go here, let's delete, and we can also choose right click and select tangency as well, like this. We can go here to phase, delete, and let's choose this reference vector. And now our vector is perpendicular to this face here. Now, as we see from this side. So we have this at some angle, and this angle is the same as angle of this face. Let's clear this selection. Let's clear reference vector. And let's go to sweep. And this is the last option. So the sweep is the pretty much same as the sweep tool that we used before, swept surface. So we have a profile and we have a pet. So let's choose for the profile, this edge, this one. And now for the pet, let's click here. We have a reference vector. Let's choose this line here, like this. And now we don't see anything. Let's go here, reverse direction. And now we see that the angle of this surface is the same as the angle of this edge here. We can change different edge. Let's delete, let's, let's choose this edge here. And now we have something like this. Let's click here, let's delete. We can also choose the edge from the different part. For example, this one. Let's uncheck reverse direction. And now we got something like this. As well, we can, we can use some sketch, for example, line. So if we go out, we can go, for example, to front plane, and we can create some line here, center line, like this. Let's exit sketch, surface, roll surface, sweep, this edge, let's choose here this line. And now our reference vector is this line. So this is basically how you can use a sweep. But also, instead of using reference vector, we can put here coordinate input. So let's check this. So as we check this automatically, our tab reference vector disappear. So instead of our vector, we're gonna use here coordinates. So we have here a coordinate system, X, Y, and Z. So let's go to Y direction, for example, three millimeters. And now we can see this. This is tapered because we have X1. Let's go with X0 and now it's straight. If we wanna go to different direction, Y, we can go with minus three. And now we have to different direction. Let's go with three, like this. So if we wanna your surface at some angle, you can go here at X and you can choose, for example, two. And now you have tapered surface. And those are all possibilities how you can use ruled surface. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.